Hey there, thanks for joining me for another uh, Slightly Rednecked video. Getting ready to incubate some eggs today, so I want to talk about best practices to ensure the best hatch rate possible. This video specifically is going to be talking about how to set up your incubator and how to get it ready to start incubating eggs. So stay tuned, we're going to get right into that. Okay, so I'm using a little giant incubator, styrofoam incubator, but this is pretty much the same steps for any incubator you're, you're going to get. Um, about three or four days before you're going to start incubating, go ahead and set your incubator up like you're going to incubate. First things first, uh, usually these incubators come with little red plugs or little plugs in the holes right there. Take those out. You can pretty much throw those away. You don't need them. You need ventilation in here, and that's what these are, these two vent holes right here. At the front and the back. Yours may be in a slightly different location. Uh, nothing special about how to set it up. If you've got an egg turner, go ahead and put your egg turner in it. Um, it's got trays at the bottom for water. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully you can see those on camera. They're, they've got water in them right now. I've had this running for a couple of days. So go ahead and put water in your trays. Put your um, uh, egg turner in there. Go ahead and uh, turn your thermostat on to the temperature that you need it, and uh, that gives it time to go ahead and stabilize. One other thing that you're going to want to do, take the uh, temperature sensor here, lay that down on your egg turner about in the middle of it, and take a thermometer that has been calibrated. Make sure you calibrate your thermometer. <laughs> take a thermometer that's calibrated, lay that right alongside the side of that, that sensor. And you're going to let this run for about three, four days before you ever start incubating eggs. What you're wanting to make sure is that your thermostat is calibrated on your incubator itself. Now I've got this set to uh, 99 degrees and just because I opened it it's fluctuating a little bit right now. Um, but give that just a second and it'll stabilize back out. When it reads 99 degrees I'm going to open it up and check this, inc or this thermometer right here and you can see that that's reading about 98 degrees. So it's pretty accurate because again, I've been opening this and it's been fluctuating. Um, you can just take this thermometer, stick it right through the side of your incubator uh, to where it sticks, oh, about egg level right there so that you can read it from outside the, the incubator and you don't have to worry about opening it up to check it. But I don't mess with doing that. That gives you a reading all the time. I don't mess with doing that. I just calibrate right before I incubate. I put a thermometer in there, check it, keep it in there for about three or four days. As long as it's reading correctly, I take the thermometer out, go ahead and do my incubation process from there. Um, but these are notorious. These little uh, temperature sensors up here are notorious for uh, going, getting out of calibration and not working correctly. So even though it reads 99 degrees at the top, if it's running a little bit hot or a little bit cold and not reading the temperature correctly, it can really ruin your hatch rate. So this is one thing that you can do. Just, again, a calibrated thermometer. And if you don't know how to calibrate a thermometer, look it up. Just make sure you get one with a little nut on the back of it that's, that's twistable, a calibrated thermometer. This happens to be a meat thermometer, which is probably the easiest, cheapest, best way to go. Calibrate it. Make sure it's accurate before you do this. Place it in there. Um, I, I, usually what I do is actually have two thermometers in there because if both of these two thermometers read the same and this is different, then I know it's this that's reading off. Um, if I have two thermometers in there, this reads the same as the incubator and the other thermometer is off, then I'll recalibrate that other thermometer and try it again just to make sure. But again, do this about three or four days before you start incubating. Let it run. Check this thermometer again. Just leave it in there until you're ready to incubate. When I get ready to incubate, I take it out and toss it away. And that's really about it. Um, I don't worry too much about humidity levels myself. I place water in there, and as long as it stays up around 50% or higher, then I don't worry about the, the uh, humidity level that much. So that's really about it as far as setting up your incubator goes. I, again, I don't worry about the, the uh, humidity that much. Um, I find that if it stays around 50, 60 percent, it's summertime here right now, our air temperature is about 60 percent humidity, so it's not hard for me to keep it at that level. Uh, just keep water in the bottom of the incubator. If it stays around 60 percent or so, um, it's usually going to be just fine. Uh, what I worry about more than anything is bacteria, but that goes back to how you store your eggs and how you uh, prepare them for incubation. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. And as always, God bless.